Hey, what's going on? My name is Brian Bauer. Today we are here to talk about the Solar A17D seven string guitar. Now, before we get going, I need you guys to click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification. I already dislike this video. Who are you? I'm a Facebook critic, and I dislike any video that tells me to like and subscribe. That's stupid. Okay, well, I need to get into the recommended feeds and all that stuff. I mean, this is just how YouTube works, okay? So just, just hold your horses there, Mr. Facebook commenter. Okay? Are you going to help with the review? Sure. Okay, cool. So today we are also going to be here with uh, this uh, random Facebook critic. Uh, this is one of those kind of commenters you see on a lot of the Facebook groups and all that stuff. And he's going to help out with the review, but I think he might be able to add some value to this. And I think you're going to need it. Anyway, that's totally cool. So anyway, today we have the Solar A170 seven string guitar. Hey, Best Buy called, the Geek Squad misses you. So, wait, I never worked for Best Buy or the Geek Squad. Oh, you could have fooled me since you're a geek. And why am I a geek? The glasses, the, oh, I know all this stuff about the seven string solar. <laughs> I mean, nee, 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 nee. I didn't say I know everything, but I, I own it. So, I mean, anyway, okay, that's cool. It's cool, but you know, just, just tone down the attitude just a little bit, okay? Mm. One of the things that makes the Super Strat and what I really like about it is that the volume knob is out of the way, unlike the Fender Stratocaster. Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix, and David Gilmore all played Fender Stratocasters just fine with the volume knob where it is. So who's the problem? Jimi Hendrix played the other way. It wasn't even his way. Did you ever think of that? Do you ever think about anything? I don't need to. Anyway, this Fina seven string guitar now, it's great for playing one thing and that is heavy metal. You should sit, play some blues with that. Well, this is a seven string guitar. Now you could, but really this is aimed at the metal market. That's who this video is for, the heavy metal but guys. But the blues guys have the real talent. Well, there's a lot of very talented blues guys, I agree, but there's a lot of very talented heavy metal guys out there these days too. Anyway, one of the great things, this guitar was made by Ola England, and he decided to have the Evertune Bridge. Joe Boner Massive never needed an Evertune Bridge. He could tune his guitars just fine. Isn't it Joe Bonamassa? What did I say? What did you think he said? Did you Joe Bo but whatever you said. Listen, listen, listen. This is supposed to be like, we're on the internet. We need to be a little bit more respectful and not talk about body parts. Like this, okay? Like, people can read what you write. They can? Yes. Like, your name is there, and all, you, all of those things you wrote are still there. My name? Yes. Facebook critic expert Joe over here. That's right. Okay? They can see what you're writing. And I don't know who's liked all your comments on this, but- uh, Oh, sexy ladies. Yeah, you wish, you wish. What, did she say add her up on Snap or something? Yeah. Do you even know what that is? No. Exactly. Well, I guess we're safe from getting scammed this time. One of the great things about this guitar is that it is a seven string, it's great for playing metal. Now, how would you make this better? I'll show you. This guitar just became a Les Paul. God bless. 